Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install an Insyncorator Evolution compact garbage disposal. This is a very high quality and quiet disposal. The first thing that I'm noticing is that this sink has no air gap. It has a soap dispenser where the air gap should be. From underneath the sink, I'll unscrew the soap dispenser bottle. I'll unscrew the nut that holds the bottle to the sink. Then pull the soap dispenser out of the sink and clean up the stainless steel. An air gap is a device that keeps dirty water from the disposal from going into the dishwasher. The tube from the dishwasher goes to the half inch pipe and the tube from the disposal goes to the 7 8 inch pipe. Reach underneath the sink and poke the bottom part of the air gap through the sink. Screw down the top part snugly and make sure the vent hole faces the sink. Now go underneath the sink and tighten down the nut. Make sure it has a watertight seal on the sink. If your disposal plugs into a wall outlet, unplug it. In this case, the disposal is hardwired. Turn off the circuit breaker. A retest with my Klein voltage detector shows that there is no electricity present. Also check your switch to make sure the disposal does not turn on. Remove the two 3 8 inch nuts from the discharge tube and remove the discharge tube. Loosen up the drainage pipe nut that the discharge tube goes into. Be sure to have a bucket or pan underneath these pipes to catch a little water. Loosen the clamp from the dishwasher hose and remove the dishwasher hose from the disposal. If your sink has an air gap, you will be removing the hose that comes from the 7 8 inch tube on the air gap. Use a hammer to knock the lower mounting ring counterclockwise as you're looking up at it a little bit. Now put your hand underneath the disposal to support it. Turn the lower mounting ring the rest of the way counterclockwise and the disposal will come off. This is the dishwasher hose which comes with a variety of different size ends. Cut the end of the dishwasher hose so that the smaller portion can connect to the half inch tube on the air gap. Connect the dishwasher hose to the half inch tube of the air gap with a clamp. Now I'll connect a piece of flexible plumbing tubing with a 7 8 inch interior diameter to the 7 8 inch tube of the air gap and I'll connect it with a clamp. Now remove the old throat piece from the sink. Sometimes you can reuse the old throat piece, but it's always a more professional job if you install the new one. Unscrew the three set screws until the mounting ring and the backup flange are loose. Now with a screwdriver, pry up the snap ring and remove it. Once the snap ring is off the backup flange, the mounting ring and the friction ring will come off. Now the throat piece flange will come out of the sink. Clean up the sink so that there's no old plumber's putty or debris. This is the new throat piece assembly. Loosen the three set screws. Now use a screwdriver to pry up the snap ring and remove it. Now remove the quick collar stopper. Remove the mounting ring. Remove the backup flange and remove the friction ring. Now grab a handful of plumber's putty and work it between your palms to make a cigar shaped length of plumber's putty. Wrap this around the flange of the throat piece and place the throat piece into the sink with the writing that says Insyncorator, readable from where you would stand to wash dishes. If you have a helper, have your helper hold the throat piece firmly in place while you're working underneath the sink. If you don't have a helper, put something heavy, like the garbage disposal, over the flange on the sink. Now put on the friction ring and the backup flange. With the screws of the mounting ring in the loosened position, insert the mounting ring and then install the snap ring on the groove of the throat piece. It really helps to have a helper pushing down on the throat piece from the top. Keep working at it until you hear the snap ring snap into place. After making sure your flange is centered, 
Tighten each of the three set screws in turn like you would tighten the lug nuts on a wheel. Tighten one, then the next one, then the next one, and keep going round and round until they are all very tight. If you have a helper, the helper can make sure that the flange stays exactly in the middle of the sink hole. If you don't have a helper, you may have to loosen the set screws a little bit, get up, move the flange into the center of the hole, and then retighten. Now clean the excess plumber's putty from around the flange. Now it's time to install the disposal. I like to use a scissors jack to help support the disposal while I'm attaching it to the mounting ring. When you have the disposal in position, just turn the lower mounting ring that is attached to the top of the disposal clockwise onto the mounting ring of the throat assembly. When you have it attached hand tight, use a pair of adjustable pliers to squeeze the lower mounting ring until it is very tight and secure. If you have a dishwasher, you will need to remove the drain plug from inside of the dishwasher inlet. A big screwdriver and a hammer work just fine. Once you have it knocked out, make sure that you remove it from the disposal. You may find it easier to remove this drain plug prior to installing the disposal. If you don't have a dishwasher, leave the drain plug in place. Now that the drain plug is removed, install the hose that goes from the 7 8 inch portion of the air gap to the dishwasher inlet on the disposal. Cut the hose to length as necessary. Remember to put your clamp on the hose before installing. Attach the hose to the disposal and tighten the clamp. Attach the disposal discharge tube to the anti-vibration tailpipe mount. Use the provided clamp. This drain pipe is now a little short, so I'll replace it with one that is a little longer. I'll cut this piece a little shorter. Attach the drain pipe securely, making sure that all of your pipes are the proper lengths. Remove the electrical cover panel from the bottom of the disposal by taking off the Phillips screw. Pull out the white and the black wires. Screw a clamp connector into the bottom of the disposal. Use your voltage detector to double check to make sure that the circuit breaker serving the garbage disposal is still off. Now fish the electrical cable through the clamp connector so that the wires come out the wiring area. If you have metal armored cable like I do in this instance, be very sure to tighten it securely with the metal clamp connector. The metal of the armored cable is often the ground in an older house, but it will only work if it is solidly connected to the metal of the clamp connector. I'll use a two connector Wago lever nut to attach the white wire from the disposal to the white house wire. I'll use another two connector Wago lever nut to connect the black wire from the disposal to the black wire of the house. This is an old house that doesn't have a ground wire provided. If a ground wire was provided, it would go to this green terminal. Now put the wires and the connectors into the wiring area and close up the cover with the provided screw. Turn the circuit breaker back on. Now turn on the water and turn on the garbage disposal. Thoroughly check under the sink for leaks and turn on the dishwasher to make sure it's draining properly. Remember, if you have a dishwasher, you must knock out the drain plug that goes to the dishwasher inlet. Install the quiet collar sink baffle, which can be removed at any time for cleaning. Congratulations, you've installed an air gap and a garbage disposal. There are no leaks and it works great. I'll put a link in my video description for the Insincorator Compact Garbage Disposal. Also, I'll put a link for the Insincorator Septic System model, and I'll put a link for the top of the line 1.1 horsepower Pro Series Evolution Disposal, the one horsepower Insincorator Badger Disposal, as well as the three quarter horsepower Badger and the half horsepower Badger. Also, I'll put links for both Kohler and Delta air gaps. I'll put a link for the Klein voltage detector with built-in flashlight, the Milwaukee 11-in-1 tool, which includes 
the 3 8 and 5 16 inch nut drivers needed for this job, Wago lever nuts, the rigid plastic pipe cutter, plumber's putty, the Milwaukee M18 stick light, and the Milwaukee bucket organizer. Thanks! I hope this video was helpful.